Hey guys, welcome back to Umotube. This is Tommy. And I'm Julia. In this video, we'll show you how you can maximize the durability of your shuttles. A lot of the times when you purchase a new tube of shuttles, the humidity inside the tube is very low, which means that the shuttles are usually very dry and brittle. To solve this, you can increase the humidity of the shuttles by introducing moisture. This will reduce the chance of the feathers breaking prematurely. Uh, we'll be showing you different ways to humidify your feather shuttles. So if you live in a dry environment, this can be really effective as long as you do it correctly. <laughs> so how do you humidify your shuttles? Well, there are specialized steamers for shuttles in the market, but you can use any kind of apparatus at home that produces steam. It's the same thing. So kind of like a kettle or a pot of boiling yeah, water. Yeah, that's right. So first off, you want to take off the two caps off the end of the tube. Next, you want to place the tube over the steam with the cork side up. The steaming process should take around 30 seconds and no longer than one minute. The steaming process is complete once steam has risen out of the top end of the tube or one minute has passed. You don't want to oversteam the shuttles as it would slow the flight down. Unfortunately, we couldn't really capture the steam on camera, but you get the point. The second method is to take the shuttles out and leave them on a countertop while you take a hot shower. You want to make sure all the windows and doors are closed so that the steam can accumulate inside the bathroom. It's better to do this during the winter times when it's a lot colder and not during the summer where it's really hot. This method is the easiest to do since you don't need any special equipment and most people take a shower every day. Or at least most people do. Once you're done with your shower, you can just put the shuttles back into the tube and you're good to go. The last method is to use a humidome. Uh, we just got this product into Yumo, so it's fairly brand new in the market. Um, it's a device that was designed and manufactured in Finland. So it contains beads inside that maintain a high level of humidity after submerging it in water. Um, Humidome replaces the cap on one end of the tube and functions to maintain the humidity of the shuttles inside the tube. So what you want to do is get a container of water that basically can fit the Humidome inside. All you have to do is turn it upside down with the hole facing up and submerge. And that's it. So you want to keep it in there for at least four hours so that the beads can grow. And then once every couple of months, when the beads have shrunk, you repeat the process so that the beads can reabsorb the water to retain moisture. If you find that the beads aren't uh, basically reabsorbing the water again, they do provide three sets of extra beads. They found that there is this problem where uh, if you're not able to if the beads aren't able to refill and reabsorb the water, it's likely because you're using hard water that's uh, high in minerals such as calcium and magnesium. So you wanna just make sure that you're using clean distilled water. So after you've soaked it in water for at least four hours, the beads will enlarge and that's what it looks like. Um, next, all you wanna do is just uh, take off the bottom cap of the tube um, have the cork facing up and stick it in. So that'll just retain the moisture inside the tube and that's all you have to do. So that's about it for this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below, let us know what you thought. And if you like this video and you want more videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe to Umotube. Um, like our page on Facebook for the latest updates and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at tommy.umo for more badminton tips. See you guys next time.